What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another part of my Nightmare Legacy Challenge. In the last part, Marcus and Chadrick got married. They also genetically engineered a baby. His name is Cortez. And Noah threw a teen party and got in a lot of trouble. He was also kind of embarrassed because one, he got yelled at in front of everybody. And two, the party ended up being lame. So he's kind of sulking in the back room. And oh y'all, I don't know how that's gonna go. I think I'm gonna have Chadrick make some breakfast to kind of break the tension up in the house because Marcus and Noah are not on good terms right now. So I think that we should just have him make some breakfast really quick. I think that's like the best way. So why don't we have him go ahead and serve up some waffles for everyone? I'm super excited because when Noah ages up to be a young adult, which is in about two sim days, I am gonna be moving everyone to a brand new house. So if y'all didn't know, the house that we're currently playing in was made by yum yum also built me another house so i really can't wait to show y'all that i was gonna move them in early but he only has two days until he ages up anyway so i was like we can wait two days okay so maybe potentially by the next part we'll have a new house maybe i guess i guess it just depends on like you know how far along we get today but i can't wait for y'all to see it and yum thank you for building me the house because it's so nice y'all but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get noah up for a second because dude you cannot sleep the day away it's saturday you need to come over here and throw away this cake that you had everyone eat at the party i feel like that's probably what made marcus more upset is because everyone ate his expensive birthday cake and they also broke the tv too so can we have chip come over here and fix it yeah chip please go ahead and fix the tv dude <laughs> chip is like uh i need to get a recharge real quick cj that's cute chip but uh i'm gonna have you go ahead and recharge afterwards i did have chatrick use the bot building station to improve his skill because i would love for him to start to upgrade uh chip chip is like level one of the plumb bot quality and he's very fragile so the higher level he gets the more you know the less likely he will to like break down and stuff like that oh my gosh y'all salutations from auntie bernice <gasps> oh that means that cortez is gonna have an imaginary friend okay y'all i know i always say like i say it like every generation that i'm gonna try my best for the kids to play with their imaginary friends but i really mean it this time okay we're gonna try my best to get it to work <laughs> i don't know for some reason the i guess they don't play with the imaginary friend that long or something so i don't know also the waffles are super burnt right now they're horrifying quality maybe the waffles are meant to represent like everyone's relationship right now because everyone's kind of going down so at least no one's doing homework right and he's you know near marcus they're not arguing so i guess that's good but i guess i will have chakrit come and get some leftover apple pie for breakfast i feel like that'll be okay oh look at that y'all cortez is starting to cry Ooh, um Maybe I can have Marcus when he finishes eating that birthday cake. Maybe I can have him go and get Cortez. Yeah, so as soon as you're finished eating the cake, let me have you come over here and hold your child. We we'll probably need to go ahead and give him a bath also. And then maybe I will have you go ahead and give him a bottle because I'm pretty sure he's hungry too. So since they had a baby, Marcus and Chatrick have a couple days off from work. So I would love for them to work on the school. Oh, he's mad about him. <laughs> he's still mad. He's like, he's like, when I look at you, I just see disappointment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I would love for Chatrick and and Marcus to work on their, their work stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Marcus work on his charisma skill after he takes care of the baby. And then as for Chatrick, Chatrick needs to be on good terms with his boss and his coworkers. So why don't I try to invite one of his coworkers over? We have Nina Diamond. Maybe we can invite her over to the house. Maybe we can get to know her a little bit better and stuff like that. So we'll have them do that. And then as for Noah, since you finished your homework, oh, Noah, Noah, stop trying to act like you. Listen, Noah, you wanna do something? Take out the trash or something. I don't know, dude. You kind of did a lot of stuff last night. Oh, she said she's gonna come over in a little while thank you okay so she's gonna come over uh listen Noah you've done enough for one day so I feel like you need to get out of the house I feel like you need to get far away from everyone and you just need to let everything just die down so I think that's what we're gonna do let me have you do you have any food in your inventory you don't really well you can go you know what let me have you go get some food really quick Noah uh get some leftover apple pie but I'm gonna try to have him go out today and you know meet up with somebody maybe Jacqueline or something but anyway let me have Chatrick come over here for a second Chatrick what are you doing okay it just says play with let me have you come over here for a second and we'll have you gossip with your co-worker I feel like she's about to leave please do not leave sis she's gonna go sit at the fire pit okay well that's that's good I guess but we need to improve their relationship so we're gonna ask about alma mater we're also going to chat with her a little bit discuss work we need to talk about work business and all of that stuff okay <laughs> all right so we have marcus over here working on his thing and then as for noah as soon as you scarf down that apple pie i'm gonna pull the phone out and maybe i can try to call jacqueline as for jacqueline let's see if she would like to go to 
Maybe we can go back to the Renaissance Fair or something and see if she want to meet up with us there. I mean, maybe. Oh, she said it sounds like fun. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to go to the Renaissance Fair and maybe I could try to convince her to break up with her boyfriend because like, you need to be with me, Jacqueline. I need to give her a makeover too. So yeah, I'm be on the lookout for that, y'all. But all right, as for Chip, Chip is well rested. He's real. He's well recharged and everything like that. I'm going to look around the house to see if there's anything that he needs to do. Let's have you come over here and feed the chickens really quick. And you need to take care of bobby i'm not gonna lie because bobby is hungry bobby get up for a second dude and come get some food because i know you need it and then as for the fish let me have you come over here and feed the fish real quick chip and then is there anything else that you can upgrade you can clean that maybe upgrade the microwave maybe yeah you can upgrade the microwave really quick let's tell a joke let's show like a funny video or something like that we're not really friendly like that so we need to get on her good side tell us a bunch of jokes so we'll do that we'll show her we'll, make, we'll tell her like a funny story oh she doesn't like it she didn't like it all right so maybe i can try to get on her good side or something something like that maybe i could try to give her advice it's like some supportive advice about something she might actually like that maybe i can also try to get to know her a little bit and then maybe i can try ask to prom i don't know about that one dude maybe we can try we could we could ask to prom but she might say no so we might do that a little bit later maybe i can also ask what her sign is it says never look a gift horse in the mouth they sneeze hard what kind of advice? I mean, I guess that's some advice technically, I guess. Maybe we need to get out of this rain really quick because the rain is pouring down. Maybe we need to come in here real quick and sit down. Can she come in here with me? Sit. If I, like, come here, will she, like, follow me? I wonder. Kind of hailing right now. Like, I don't really know. Hey, what's going on? A fire has started on my home lot. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Chip, what did you do? Chip, literally what you do? Oh, my gosh. Can somebody please come put Chip out, y'all? Please put Chip out. What is going on? I'm scared. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can somebody please come and get Chip? Y'all, and my game is like freezing right now. Oh my gosh, can somebody please come and get him? Hello, can somebody come and get Chip? Thank you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please put him out, put him out, put him out, put him out. Oh my gosh, y'all, he has a couple more minutes till he dies. Put him out! What is going on, y'all? They're literally just sitting here. Hello, can somebody please put Chip out? Oh my gosh, y'all, what the heck? Please come and get Chip! Extinguish the flames, dog! Y'all, and my game keeps freezing. It keeps like skipping a frame. I think he's dead, I think he's dead, I think he's dead. No, <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Poor Chip. I was literally just trying to make Noah get to know her a little bit better. And this had to start happening now. Like, I don't know. Chip, please don't die. Oh my gosh. No, he died, y'all. No, Chip just died. Are you kidding me right now? And then you're trying to put the flames out. Y'all, the game must have wanted him to die so bad. The game was like skipping frames. And now the house is on fire. Y'all, we're going to have to get this new house. Oh, and now all of the flames went out automatically as soon as he died. Yo, I'm really sad about that. We lost our robot. We lost Chip. No, Chip. Maybe he'll bring him back. Would you want to bring him back for me? Listen, please, Grim. What the heck just happened? Are you kidding me right now? How did the fire start? Was it because he was working on the microwave or something? And where's his grave? I mean, where's his ghost at? Oh, okay, it's right here. No, not Chip, yo. He was supposed to get upgraded and everything. Oh, he was supposed to be upgraded. And we lost my robot. <laughs> I'm sad about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Chip is going now, y'all. All his belongings were moved to Marcus's inventory. And she's calling the cops. She's probably about to go and gossip about it. Oh my gosh, and you just peed on the floor. What is going on in around here? And Grim is laughing about it? Grim laughed because he peed on himself. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna just leave and come back over here. That is too much just go that's too much going on over there right now. Y'all, where the heck did Jacqueline go? Is Jacqueline even still here or did she leave? She might have left. Did it say, the group Adam was fantastic, no epic was the word? Wait, that's not the way to describe it either. Legendary is the only way to describe it. Oh, I think that was uh Nina. I don't think that was Jacqueline. Can I pl try to call her out again? Jacqueline, like, invite out. Let's, let's come back here. Please come back, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Y'all, Chip died. I don't know what happened. The game was like, the game had like froze y'all and I literally could not even press anything. She said, I'm not interested right now. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, maybe we can try to invite Katie out. You know, let's try to invite her out really quick. I'm not interested right now. Is everyone just saying no to me? What do we invite over Karina? Let's try to invite her out next. I mean, I think everyone is just kind of done with us right now. What if we just invite Karina out? Like, hello? Does no one want to just talk to me? I mean... I guess. Wait, what happened at home? What happened now? What's happening? What, what's happening? What's happening? Please tell me what's happening, y'all. Y'all, what happened in my house? The camera just eat it back over here. <gasps> Did Marcus just die? What happened? Are you kidding me right now? It's probably because the house is too junky or something. What just happened to Marcus? Hello? Y'all, we can't keep losing all these Sims back to back. Is he going to come back to life? Please tell me he's going to come back to life. Marcus just died. 
I just started recording. Chatrick, what are you doing right now? And Chatrick is so sad about it. What the heck keeps happening in my game? Oh my gosh, can you mop up these puddles, please? Please just mop up. I know you want to mourn your husband, Diane, but please mop up these puddles because what the heck? We just lost Chip, now we just lost Marcus. And look at this, y'all. He got all these lifetime points. What do you know these lifetime reward points for? Is that like an insurance policy? He just passed out. Okay, you know what? Noah needs to come home now. Noah, Marcus died while you had a bad relationship with him. You never got a chance to get it right. No, he never got the chance to get that right with him before he died. Are you kidding me right now, y'all? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh my gosh, listen, we need to replace everything in here. At this, it's probably like the broken, dirty stuff that's making everything upset. Listen, y'all, we cannot lose Noah. We lost too many Sims today. We cannot lose Noah next. Okay, let me let me move these graves. We're gonna have to have a funeral tomorrow in game. We have to, cause that, like we we don't lost too many people. We gotta throw a funeral tomorrow in game. We just gotta. Let me just have you come over here and talk to him for a second. Let me have you like affection talk to him really quick, cause his attention is really low. We literally, y'all, and it's only three Sims in a house. I cannot believe that we just lost Marcus and Chip back to back. Mm -mm. I don't like stuff like that y'all this is literally spooky i mean i know we in spooky season but like this is spooky to the next level oh my gosh maybe we could just have you talk to him let's have you brush him really quick there we go noah go ahead and take a shower you need to clean up the house listen i don't want nobody else dying on me okay nobody else he's crying so bad right now i'm so sorry i did not know that was gonna happen all right y'all so it's getting to be a little bit late in the game right now i'm gonna go ahead and have everyone go to sleep and i'll just cut back in the morning so i'll be right back i literally was gonna have chat rick go ahead and get some sleep and now he got abducted by aliens what is going on in my game right now <laughs> not even get abducted by aliens he might get pregnant from that y'all what the heck is going on in my game i just want my sims to just have a good life this is just not good right now oh well at least he came back all right y'all so it is the next morning and it's also chat rick's birthday that is super sad his husband died right before his birthday we're gonna have to throw our funeral today y'all for a double funeral basically uh, I am so sad about what is going on in my game right now, y'all. Like, I can't even make this stuff up. <laughs> well, at least you're over here taking care of... Oh, taking care of Cortez. You might have to race him, to be honest with you, because, like, look at what's going on in the household. Let's be real here. All right. Well, we will have you go ahead and put him back in the crib. I'm going to have you come over here and get a quick meal. Let's have you get some... Get some bread and jam. Who is calling you on the phone? Is that the funeral home? Oh, okay. Must be nobody. Anyway... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead really quick and pull his phone out because we need to go ahead and throw the funeral for today. All right, y'all. So I invited a couple of people from both sides of the family and we have the funeral for 10 o'clock in the morning. Why the heck is Esther trying to flirt over the phone? Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> well, we have the funeral set for 10 o'clock in the morning. Maybe we should go ahead and start to cook some food for everyone. So maybe I can come over here and serve up some food. Why don't we serve up some chicken fried rice? You know, that's a good meal to have, you know? We'll serve up some chicken fried rice and we have Noah over here eating his breakfast. Dude, you're really just going through it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff away. The last thing I want is another accident in this house. All right. So really quick, let me have him pull his phone out for a second. And we're going to text Sherry, give her like a friendly text message. And then we're also going to text Jacqueline. Maybe we can invite Jacqueline over. Maybe she'll want to come over. Maybe she can like, you know, come and support us. She might still say no, but I'm going to just see. Let's see. She says, oh, she'll say she'll come over in a little while. Bet. Okay. So she's on her way. I'm happy about that. Oh, look at this show. Bobby's in the swimming pool. Okay, Bobby. I see you. All right, chat rate, go ahead and whip that food up because you know you got that funeral starting really soon. Go ahead, put that plate down. And then I guess I'll have you come over here and serve up some more food. So let's have you also serve up some vegetable medley. I think that sounds really, really good too. Oh, he's going to grab a plate. I mean, you can eat early if you want to, but I kind of need you to go ahead and cook for everyone else. But whatever, dude. Okay, somebody else is flirting. Can y'all stop flirting with him, please? He literally just lost someone. Oh, uh, oh, the funeral is going to start a little bit early, I guess. Okay. So why don't I go ahead and turn on some music just so we can have like some little house music. Nothing too fancy. It's not going to be a party just to have some like somber ambience in the house, you know, we'll change to, um, classical. Let's change to classical music. Okay. Just something to kind of break up the quietness of the house. Oh my gosh. Oh, Leo is here. We have not seen Leo. Y'all, I have literally not seen Leo in so long. Leo, do not leave. Okay, do not leave. Listen, we will invite everyone in the house. And maybe we can go ahead and call everyone to come eat. Can I just place this over here at the table? And then maybe we will have everyone. I feel like we should say some good stuff about... We should say some good stuff about the people that we lost, right? So why don't we come over here and... Root introduction, friendly introduction. What? 
Okay, friendly introduction, I guess. And I guess we'll have you come talk to Jocelyn. We'll just do a friendly introduction too. Is that Gene? Oh my gosh, y'all, that's Gene. I gotta give him like another hairstyle, dude. I think he must've aged up. We'll do a bunch of friendly introductions to everyone. We'll just talk and stuff like that. And thank everyone for coming to the funeral, even though in the last part, we literally just had a wedding. Super sad. And I guess I'll go ahead and call everyone to come eat. Let's call everyone to come eat so we can all get some food really quick. It's what Marcus would have wanted us to be together, to have food and to be around like family and stuff like that. So. We'll call everyone over. Okay, maybe I can have you come over here and do our friendly introduction to Nomi. Oh, Nomi, she was the one that was married to Stuart. Stuart went on a date with Abby. Is that his girl? That might be her. Okay, we can say hello. Not you over here on the drum set, girl, at the funeral. And she's still flirting. Girl, leave us alone. Leave us alone, okay? Let's ask for advice, uh, supportive advice, because, you know, we really need it right now. The wedding, girl, stop, take a break. We get it, you on the drum set. Y'all, can we stop for a second? Please stop. <laughs> can we cry on her shoulder really quick? This is not a happy time, this is a sad time right now. Okay, like that right there, y'all, is Chat Ritz's mom. Why are you booing at the funeral? Okay, let's see if we can ask his mom. First of all, cry on his mom's shoulder. And then maybe we can have Chat Rick maybe ask for some advice. Ask for advice. Let's ask for. Ooh, I can't do this right now. What does it say? Chat has already received enough wisdom for today. Well, I guess we can ask career advice. So, what does she say? Fighting at formal events let everyone knows who's the boss. But it's a funeral. So, why are we fighting at a funeral? It's not really making a lot of sense. I don't really get that. Well, we'll have him talk with his mom. We will also have him cry on his mom's shoulder one more time. Oh, oh look at that, y'all. He's crying on his mom's shoulder. Oh, no. This is so sad. Oh, no. Yo, I hate this for us. All right, so he's just gonna ask his mom, you know, to be there for him and stuff like that. I'm glad that she came to the funeral. Oh, look at this y'all in the back. Gene is over here taking care of Cortez. Thank you, Gene. Gene, what egg is your son at? And your daughter. Gene, you ain't bringing the kids. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me have you come over here and talk to Leo because Leo, if you did not know, is from generation three of Nightmare Legacy. So we're gonna have you come over here and talk to Leo really quick and just get to know him a little bit. Cause I feel like no one really knows Leo. Like he's so detached from everyone because he honestly should be dead right now, but he's a vampire, so he's gonna stay alive for like pretty much forever. <laughs> so literally, like all everyone that he pretty much knew was dead. But we're just gonna have him talk. Uh, is everyone leaving? People are leaving the funeral. It's only one o'clock. Oh my gosh! What a great party! I had a blast. Well, you know what they say: plans are useless, but planning is everything. Okay, I have to leave now, but thanks for inviting me. I had a pretty good time. We have Jacqueline over here. She might be the next victim of the cow plant. I guess we'll just come over here and talk to Esther really quick, so we can ask her for some supportive advice. Maybe, maybe she can have some words of wisdom or something like that. Like, what a great party! I had a blast. This was not a fun event. This was a sad event. What do you mean you had a blast? I'm confused. Let's have Noah come and ask Esther for some advice and be like you know i didn't really get a chance to make it right with marcus before he passed away you know i feel really guilty about it and she's like i mean i know that deep down he knew that you loved him and he loved you back so don't beat yourself up over it you know the best thing you can do right now is be there for chat rick and for the baby so i feel like that's some pretty good advice to give you know maybe we will like just cry on her shoulder and stuff like that and maybe i can um share a secret let's share a secret you know just be like Thanks for being there for me. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, let's have him come over here and talk to Chat Rick and be like, I'm so sorry about the party the other night. Like, I didn't know that was gonna be the last time I, you know, got to talk with Marcus really. I'm so sorry. Like, do you forgive me? He's like, sure. Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> He's like, sure, I forgive you. Like, it's okay. Do it one more time. Crown his shoulder one more time. Oh no, good. Cheer him up. Let's try to cheer him up. Oh, look at that. Yo, no, <laughs> this is so sad. I mean, the fact that I literally just glossed over the fact that Chip died, like, nobody was talking about Chip at the funeral, but, like, Chip was important to y'all, okay? But, oh, it worked, it worked. Oh. Okay, maybe we can try to console him. It might not work. Yeah, that interaction always kind of fails for some reason, but, you know, whatever. Okay, well, this was a pretty sad funeral but you know it was needed i'm glad we got to have it and we got to see everyone in the family especially leo because we haven't seen him in a really long time but uh let's go ahead and get bobby out of the swimming pool he's just been in there soaking all day like please get out it's literally 20 degrees outside i'm surprised that the water has not frozen over <laughs> all right well let's come over here for a second and come and get chat come and get cortez because he is going through it right now and then as for oh as for noah maybe i can have you try to invite over jacqueline I thought we invited her over, but I don't know if she came or not, but 
Maybe we'll invite her over again. I don't think that she's here. No, I, she might have came and left. Maybe I didn't see her. Maybe she didn't come. So maybe I can invite her over one more time. I don't feel like coming over right now. Oh, well, what about Katie? I need a friend right now, okay? Like, literally, we need a friend. See, I feel like at times like this, you see who your real friends are. I don't want to spend any time with you right now. Does no one like me? All right, y'all. So I think we should go ahead and make the trip over to the graveyard together and we need to place their graves down let's go ahead and have them go to the graveyard really quick we're call the babysitter oh look at this y'all they're taking the trip to the graveyard this is so sad though i'm so sad about that and they got here kind of fast though on that fast car okay so i moved the statue over here because we're kind of running out of space so i kind of need space for the, the graves so i'm gonna go ahead and put chip down over here next and then we're gonna put marcus because he died right after uh, maybe I could put him like in the middle like this, but y'all look at the grave. <laughs> look at all the graves and stuff. Okay, let's have you come over here and mourn. Let's first of all, let's mourn Chip first because Chip died before, you know. Um, what are y'all about to go do? Use the bathroom? Oh, listen. Oh, you want to give a couple words? We should have had the funeral here, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and come over here, though. We will mourn Chip's grave and then we'll mourn Marcus's afterwards. Who is this? Girl, where are your parents at? Yo, these kids love just walking around. Oh, y'all, look at this. They're over here mourning the graves. I'm so sad. This is so sad right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so sad right now. I'm so sorry that this had to happen. I'll let them have a moment for a second, but I kind of need to figure out who this girl. Like, what are you here for, Crystal? Is she going to steal something? Okay, no, she's just looking at the statue. Okay, I had to keep my eye on her, y'all. Oh, is he gonna come and say, uh, oh, what is he about to go do? Use the bathroom? Oh, I feel like Chatterick should come over here and probably say a couple of words. So I'm gonna have him come over here for a second. Now I'm on his iPad. Put the iPad down. What you listening to, a typecast? All right, let's have you come over here and give a lecture about, I don't know, bot building maybe? Maybe. And then we'll have you just come down here and listen to it. You know, we could just say that he's given like a couple of words about Chip and Marcus and stuff like that. Yeah, he's just given like some couple of, oof. Ooh, turn the microphone off. Yeah, turn the microphone off. Yeah, get down, get down. <laughs> Alright, we'll have you get down, and then maybe we'll have you come over here, and we'll have you give, like, a little lecture about, um, give it about learn to walk. Sure. Give a little lecture about that. Oh, he's crying. Let's just have you come over here and listen to that, you know? We're just saying, like, a couple of words, you know? Oh, it's his birthday, y'all. It's Chadwick's birthday. I literally, that kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> His birthday kind of scared me. I thought he was about to die next. I'm pretty sure he did not expect to spend his birthday like this. Ooh, chat rig. Ooh, boy. You get up there in age now, boy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have them both go home because it's starting to get dark. So I'm going to go ahead and have them both go home. All right. So they are back at home. And I need to come check on Cortez because y'all know babysitters barely be doing their job. And then can we have Noah please clean up the house? Because I thought I told somebody to clean up this mess. I guess the babysitter couldn't be bothered to do anything. All right. There we go. And Noah appears to be super hungry. Doesn't he age up tonight? Oh, he does age up tonight. Okay, y'all. We're gonna go ahead. I'll listen, I'm gonna speed through a little bit until it gets to be at 12 o'clock and then I'm gonna age him up. And while I'm doing that, let me go ahead and get a birthday cake for him so we can go ahead and age him up really quick. It says, unsupportive advice, whether by ignorance or outright lying, Chatterit has been given some negative advice that has left him feeling unsure of himself and others around him. Who gave you bad advice? I mean, to be honest, all that advice you got today at the funeral might have been, that might have done it for you. I ain't gonna lie. But all right, let me go ahead and have you feed the fish really quick and clean the fish tank. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have him age up because now it's officially his birthday. Let's go ahead and have you blow out the candles, Noah. You're a young adult now. I can't wait to start playing with him, y'all, especially in the brand new house. All right, he's gonna go ahead and blow his candles out. Woo! All right, I'm excited. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead and age up. Let's see what you look like. I'm most likely gonna have to give him a makeover, but it's okay. Let's just see what he looks like. Ooh, I mean, yeah, I'm still probably have to give him one. Because of his success in school, you may now choose a trait for Noah. I can? Okay, let me close my eyes and I'm just gonna randomize the last one. And what is his last trait? Avant Guard. Okay, so maybe he could be like a painter or something or an artist. Boy. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to give you like a, a new hairstyle. Maybe I can have him be street credible. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I will continue in the next part with a brand new house. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this part. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims 3. And I'll see you in the next video. What's this? Hold on. Gene has moved? Oh my gosh, y'all. Gene got a new house. <laughs> with his family, so they moved out to a bigger house. That's pretty cool. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this one. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.